Okay, we're still talking about sine and cosine on the unit circle, but now I want to talk about angles in any quadrant. Most of our discussion so far has been dealing with angles in the first quadrant, but angles, of course, could be in any of the four quadrants. So let's take a look at the xy plane and look at the four quadrants here, one, two, three, and four. If we start here and rotate, we go through quadrant one, then quadrant two, then quadrant three, and then quadrant four. So it's easy to remember how they're numbered if you just remember that rotation. Okay, let's think about the sine of an angle. The sine of an angle is the y coordinate of that point on the unit circle. So here's our y axis, and the y axis has positive values in this direction and negative values in this direction. So if we're on the unit circle, any point on the unit circle that is in quadrants 1 or 2 has a y coordinate that is positive. So if we have an angle that lands us at a point on the unit circle somewhere in quadrant 1 or quadrant 2, then the sine of that angle will be positive. So any angle that's greater than 0 and less than 180 will have a sine that is positive. And all of these points down here, every single point on the unit circle in quadrants 3 and 4 has a y value that is negative. So if we have an angle that terminates in quadrant 3 or quadrant 4, the sine of that angle will be negative. So any angle that's greater than 180 but less than 360 will have a sine that is negative. So any angle in quadrant 3 and 4 has a sign that is negative. And here's some examples, some quick examples here. Just uh, an example of an angle in each quadrant. Uh, for 45 degrees, and these pictures are accurately drawn here. That is, in fact, a 45 degree angle. And you can just write in your notes the sign of 45 degrees is 0 0.707, approximately. But the point here is that we're in quadrant 1, and it's a positive number. If we rotate over here into quadrant 2, the sine of a 112 degree angle, you can check it on your calculator if you want to, comes out to 0 0.927, at least to three decimal places. And the point here is that we're in quadrant two, and again, it's a positive number. If we rotate on around to quadrant three, in this case, this, this angle drawn here is a 204 degree rotation and the sine of a 204 degree angle is equal to negative 0.407. So the y coordinate right there is negative 0.407. That would be that position on the y axis or the y coordinate of that point. And the point here is that we're in quadrant 3 and the sine of the angle is negative. And if we rotate all the way around into the fourth quadrant, in this case I've drawn a 310 degree angle, and the sine of 310 degrees is negative 0.0, I'm sorry, negative 0 0.766. So that would be this y value right here, or the length of that side, or the y coordinate of that point, but the point to understand right here is that we are in quadrant 4 and the value of the sine is negative. And we can apply similar reasoning to the cosine. The cosine of an angle is the x-coordinate, so think about the x-axis here. The x-axis has positive values in this direction and negative values in that direction. So if we are in quadrants 1 or 4, we are over here in the area where x values are positive. So any point in quadrants 1 or 4, any of these points on the unit circle have a positive x coordinate, so any angle in quadrants 1 or 4 have a cosine that is positive. And likewise all the points in quadrants 2 and 3 have an x coordinate that is negative. They're all over this way where we have negative x values, so any angle in quadrant 2 or 3 has a cosine that is negative, and we'll look quickly at some examples here. Okay, again, 45 degrees, we're thinking of the cosine now. The cosine of 45 degrees is 0.707, or the square root of 2 over 2, but the point is that it's positive 
in quadrant one. And at 112 degrees, the cosine of 112 degrees is negative 0.375. That's this x-coordinate there, or this little length. But the point is that here in quadrant two, the cosine is negative. And you should see that it has to be negative in quadrant two. And if we rotate around 204 degrees, that puts us in quadrant three. And the cosine of a 204 degree angle is negative 0.914. So that x value, or that length, this length is 0.914, but it's over here to the left. So this x value is negative 0.914. And quadrant three, negative value for the cosine. And if we rotate all the way around into quadrant four, in this case we have a 310 degree angle. The cosine of 310 degrees is 0 0.643. So that's that length right there or that x-coordinate. And the thing to note here is that quadrant four, we have a positive value for the cosine. Okay, now if we look back at this diagram, and this just shows a unit circle and the quadrants numbered there, one, two, three, four. You should know now from your understanding of trigonometry that because the sine of an angle is the y-coordinate, sine values, sine has to be positive in quadrants one and two and it has to be negative in quadrants three and four. And because the cosine is the x-coordinate, cosine values have to be positive in quadrants one and four, and they have to be negative in quadrants two and three. But there's a handy way to remember that real quickly. This little phrase here, if you just remember this phrase, all students take calculus. And it's actually not true. All students don't take calculus. But remembering that phrase reminds you of these letters, A, S, T, C. And what you do is you go around the unit circle and you put those letters in the quadrants like this, A, S, T, C. And A stands for all. All of them are positive here. Sine, cosine, and tangent are all positive in quadrant one. Think S here, S for sine. The sine function is positive in quadrant, quadrant two. T here, think T for tangent. The tangent of an angle is positive in quadrant three. And C here, think C for cosine. The cosine of an angle is positive in quadrant four. So this little phrase can help you arrange those letters a, S, T, C, that tells you where each of these is positive, the sine, the cosine, or the tangent. They're all positive in quadrant one, sine is positive in quadrant two, tangent in quadrant three, and cosine in quadrant four. And if you get the chance, I would encourage you, take calculus. It's great stuff.